going on guys welcome back to pokemon this is just center today we're going to be looking at luxray intimidating fang ability deck which says that as long as this pokemon is your active pokemon your opponent's pokemon attacks does 30 damage less to your pokemon before playing resistance resistance for a treat minus 20 to, uh, to metals and wall bolt can hit for 150 by discarding all lighting energies from this pokemon to any pokemon in the play what is really special about this deck is definitely memory energy that says that you can use previously evolved Pokemon attacks and then we can just use disconnect with one energy card and simply hit for 30 and prevent our opponent from playing item cards. That is a deck strategy. Additionally, we have some backup attackers like Hoopa, like um, Tapu Fini, and of course a Mew for the bench protection and that side power if it's necessary. Additionally, there is one the Dingy X for the setup, one Tapu Koko for extra energy acceleration, and three Stout Wishes G Rachis for much easier setup. From the item cards, I'm running, of course, four electric powers, four custom catchers, one copy of Cherish Ball. So with Walkner, we can search Cherish Ball energy to Dean. Play, of course, if none of those cards are actually prized. One reset stamp, two copies of Switch, two copies of Skateboard, three stadiums, two of them are power plants, and one is a Thunder Mountain. Additionally, for the draw support, we have four Lilies, two Cynthia's, and four copies of Walkner, and ten energies, which four of them are memory energies, and six regular lighting energy cards. So, really interesting deck list. I played many times with it on TCGO, and this is just yet another updated version of this deck uh, for the current standard format so i hope you guys are gonna like it if you do make sure you hit the thumbs up and sub the channel for more videos if you already didn't and if you are new to the channel so let's do some action so you can see this deck in work so see you in the game all right so we are finally here with the luxray deck let's see how good it will be against necrozma deck on the other side of the field Actually, it's probably not Necrozma, it's probably just, you know, um, a Melomar Giratina deck, but it might be Ultra Necrozma, we shall see. Alright, Jirachi versus Jirachi, and the Hoopa as a top deck is a very good option here. Um, what I'm gonna do here first, I'm gonna steal a Wish into a skateboard. Alright, I guess I can do that. Can also attach one energy here, plus I can play Waltner into the Cherish Ball for the Din. I do have the Din. Do I have? Yes, I have. So also energy should be used. There we go. I'm gonna go with the Din GX here, trying to get some cards in my discard pile. Also some aligning energies. Um, nothing? Nothing. Looks like nothing. Alright. Alright, alright. Maybe I shouldn't go with a the Dean at first. Maybe I should rather grab myself a... Hmm. Maybe, 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 maybe just communication for another Jirachi. Knowing that your opponent can't knock you out. Ah, look at this. Lily for 8, 2 Inkies and Giratina and Spell Tag and Energy and Stellar Wish in Opening Hand and um, Power Plant and Lily and something something tells me the game is not uh, balanced. Um, it just makes zero sense that you will draw dead cards and your opponent will just get perfect hand without even trying to use Mysterious Treasure and stuff like that. Anyways, we're not gonna cry because we are not here for crying. We are definitely here for playing. I see so many cards in my opponent hand. I wish I reset stamp his opening hand, but I didn't. So, can I blame myself for that? Probably not. Probably I can't. Um, all right. Can I do something with electric power here? Well, I guess I can't do too much, but I can use, for example, Waltner, and I'm not gonna use Waltner, I'm rather gonna use that um, communication play. So, there we go. Trading that Tapu Fini into maybe another Jirachi for double Stellar Wish play. Seems reasonable for me, especially because I can do that um, Lily for some extra draw support. 
Uh, I just find another. All right, I need another communication here. It would be nice to get one. Uh, even Wolfner is not that bad. I'm gonna keep my Hoopa available for the next turn. That's for sure. And I will try to do something out with him.
All right, so if he decide to damage Hoopa, it can definitely knock Hoopa uh, with the Hoopa and Giratina out. But I need other way to snipe the most. So my best possible top deck would be Lillian to switch. And of course, Luxray. This is the best way to go here somehow. And it looks like that is just not gonna happen. So I'm trying to find a way how to do something in this case. I think if I have switch, still if I have switch, I do have switch. I don't have option to take the energy card. I can maybe get communication in play with one Stella Wish. Um, this is the way to go. Nope, just a Lily for the next turn. Um, we're just gonna try to get something out with the characters. I don't know how smart this really is. I really have no idea how smart this play will be. I don't know, I'm gonna try out. Oh, what a y'all play that was. Okay, it turns out to be a very nice thing. I can discard all energies, and this attack does 150 to one of my opponent bench Pokemon. I'm not quite sure if three copies of, let's see, what does it say? What does it say? During your this turn, that is the 30 more damage. So I did 369, 240. So that is like 240, which is still not enough for the knockout right here. But with the disconnect, I can definitely knock Giratina out. And then after that, I don't have any other options available. Um, hmm. I think I'm probably just gonna disconnect my opponent. Seems okay to me. Why not? I'm gonna take a price card here. And additionally, he will place four damage counters somewhere. For example, he can put two on the Jirachi. I would probably consider doing that. I need energies. I need energies. And he will not poop out. No, he will not poop out with one copy of Giratina Distortion Door. Yeah, he can do that. Oh, he won't be able to retreat without energy. Alright, so that Giratina can do two damage. One damage poop by Jirachi for the knockout. So that is a knockout. And still he have GX for 10 energies. Wish he could put somewhere. Um, I don't know, my best bet is just to use GX and Tingler turn my Jirachi and my um, the Dean into my hand, promoting Jirachi in the active position. Okay, the truth is I took three prize cards, did a good job, and this Jirachi will sleep himself, so this turn I will be fine. <coughs> Punch right, I'm wondering if there is a good way to do something out here. With 20 damage counters, he can place 14 on the Dean, and additionally 6 on Jirachi for 3 price card, and then he can win the game. If I Volt Bolt, additionally I'm gonna need to have another Pokemon away in order to knock Aspen and Deoxys out. So easy task, but at least this Shroud of Punishment doing some good work for me. Alright, what else we can do here? We can put Shims on the bench, and pretty much I don't see Ultra Beast Pokemon, so I can use Tapu Fini. Not even Mew can do something good here. Um, for the 
damage. Okay, oh, I, I put Shinx on the bench. All right, I didn't realize I did that. 20 damage counters. Uh, I don't have energy. I don't have stadium. Uh, what a face plan. What a face plan. Well played, GG. Uh, 14 to 20, 12 to the team. And couple to Shinx for the knockout. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Um, even 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 if I sniped him turn before, probably he would have sooner or later that cross division GX for the win. I completely forget that he just removed my Thunder Mountain from play, so without Thunder Mountain in play, yeah, I can't just tingly return into my hand back, so I employ G Carter in order to do that. Uh, yeah, that's the GG. Alright, alright, alright. Not not even a close game, but still, we tried to do something. We tried to do something out to Giratina, but um, not successful. Okay, so let's see if we can record a game number two. Um, Alright, so we both don't have opening hand with a basic Pokemon. This type of the opening hand looks really good, definitely. So, I'm pretty happy with it, because this opening hand can actually be a Luxio turn 1. And what's the most important thing here is that I can then just use my um, custom catcher in order to draw some extra cards. Plus, I can probably get some extra cards by the mulligan play. Lily. Alright, that's even better. Reshiram GX. Alright, let's see. Searching. Hello. Very well. Alright, and this this is a Dragonite deck with the restaurant. Alright, let's see. Um, communication into my um, Luxio, so I'm gonna definitely try to idle up my opponent here. Not even just idle up. Electro power to increase the amount of the damage that I can then damage to my opponent. And for now, that's it. So let's disconnect some energy card and item lock. That's really successful. Turn one, isn't it? Turn two, I can even knock him out with a Thunder Mountain, energy play, and luxury from my hand. And that's a GG. So my opponent will definitely need another Pokemon on his bench, otherwise he's probably gonna lose the game. But how in the world you can get Pokemons in play if you're under the item? You really can't. You really can't. So let's go with a Thunder Mountain. Alright, yeah, I did a mistake. I didn't discard my Tapu Fini here. Yeah, that might cost me. Yeah, it will cost me. It will cost me, actually. Uh, I'm just gonna disconnect. Alright, one less card in my hand because I didn't discard that Tapu Fini with my opponent, John Hart. There is yet another Arishiram GX. Right now, I'm knocked out. Jirachi, Stellar Witch. Hmm, that's really bad. That's really bad. So the only thing that I can really do here is just to play my Cynthia. Maybe I should play additionally. I'm gonna stamp and I'm gonna the Dean GX. Why? Um, 
I don't know, maybe I can find this keyboard and two more copies of... Uh, or maybe I can't. Alright. Um, yeah, okay, we can use Dance of the Asians. For sure. I can GX And I'm looking for... Oh, actually, we cannot do that because we cannot retreat our Jirachi. Seems reasonable. Okay, 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 okay. You can have it, my friend. You can have it. So one Electro Power can actually knock Reshizard out as long as this stadium can be in play for at least one more turn. Will it survive for like one more turn? Mm, not quite sure. Not quite sure. Looks like it will. Okay, so I can have for a treat as long as I decide to. Treat. Energy don't need to be attached. Alright, I'm gonna custom capture and paralyze this one. Additionally, energy to be attached right here. And timber. So Promoting my Luxray because he have free retreat. I'm taking a lot of risk here, but I know that my opponent is paralyzed, and the only way to get out of the paralyze is to have some sort of the switch mixed herb combo. And he might have some. He might have some. Okay, I think Lance is a better option than just manually trying to put that Dragon Knight in play. Um, there is a Cynthia. Alright, I can hit the 150 and I can knock this ratio I'm out. And additionally, and additionally, I can set another Luxray and knock this one out. And that's what I'm looking forward to do somehow. Alright, um, I can retreat for free. I can use my Stellar Wish, hopefully, into something useful, like maybe a Lily. I'm hitting him for 150. Seems okay. And if I'm disconnecting him, I'm probably gonna need another Electro Power for the next third. Okay, so let's just retreat and let's go with the Volt Bolt for the knockout. Over 20 extra damage. Reshiram is knock it out, and there is a communication and additionally memory energy. Alright, not looking bad at all. And this one can be now. Oh, there is a rare king of dragon. Alright, so he managed to put the dragon in play with his Kai Judgment. Alright, the best thing here is that, oh, we did only for 80, and he decided to burn me, and he didn't want to use the million GX um, for the knockout, so I even managed to survive here, which is a really good thing. So we're gonna use Electro Power, and I'm hitting for 60 right now with one Electro Power, actually I miscalculated myself. Well, when that's the case... Now I can just grab another Luxray, put him in play. Let's wait for 60 with Disconnect. Additionally, item lock. So drain two more prize cards. There is a memory energy, which is a good one, and a switch. Alright. So next turn I can swing for 150, but I need to discard all of my energies. I can do that for only two energy cards as long as there is a um, Tunnel Mountain in play, obviously. Not super easy to deal with uh, Dragonite, 250 HP, but as long as Dragonite cannot attack, 
I feel good. Well, one thing is for sure, I disconnected my opponent so he cannot play item cards. And there is a giant heart. Alright, so no more one less energy attack. Did he discard it already? Yes, he did, because he played Red's Challenge, and that is a Night Delivery GX, so he can draw some extra cards. One recent stamp would be very nice here, but unfortunately I don't have a single recent stamp available anymore. What I do have available is a switch into Cynthia Play, and then we can use Stellar Wish additionally. So what we don't really need here is a Cherish Ball, but we can always try to find communication in order to maybe set up Hoopa in No, I don't think Hoopa will be good. I think I'm just gonna try to go with another Luxray, also trying to clean my deck as much as possible. to go with a disconnect one more time disconnecting my opponent here for all the system but this dragonite needs a lot of damage to be knocked out i wish i can yeah i just find out that maybe having the option to knock the Tini on the bench would be a little bit better Right now it's just too late because I Alright, three price cards to go. Can I find enough resources? Like, can I find enough resources? What if I just decide to go with Okay, first Stellar Wish. Walter. And what else do I have available? Let me see. Skateboard energy. I have a couple more energy cards left. So, what if I just play custom catchers on his Mewtwo? You know, I can use Mewtwo for attack, but um, I'm on a whole new level here. I'm gonna try to snipe his. Dragonite on the bench. So we have only 40 HP left. Literally. And we have switch for the Dragonite, for the knockout, and the reset stamp for me, which means that I'm only gonna need. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna need more than that. I'm gonna need more than that. Um, I used my GX. Okay, I need just one disconnect and one side power and I can win the game, hopefully. Should be enough. Should be enough. Definitely should be enough. I mean Dragonite Welder combo, very good option. That's all you really need to do. And you can hit for 270 from the but if he can use custom catchers, he can win the game. So what I really need to do here, I need to find Lily into Luxio so I can disconnect and then end the game with Mew. Really only available option here to win the game. So start a wish. In a Walter. Not a card I was looking for. Alright. Actually, I won the game because I can hit with the Hoopa. I can hit with the Hoopa, he have Mewtwo plus Dratini in play and that should be a 50 damage for the knockout with the Hoopa for the last two price cards with evil information, that should be a GG, last two price cards and there we go my friends, we took the win here, I'm not sure that well, at least a win is a win, so we're not gonna complain too much. Going quickly through the deck list of my opponent. Really interesting deck list that he played. Really need to say that. Anyways, guys, that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, let me know in the comments what you think about the deck list. 
We'll see you next time. So have a nice day and goodbye.